a uh, hard-coded uh, array of uh, movies that I like, but that is because we did it by hand, right? We inserted that, that movie by hand. Instead, I like to be able to dynamically choose one movie and maybe put a little heart here. If I click on that heart, I want to uh, send the data of the movie that I like to the server and insert it into the database, right? And then refresh my list of the movies that I like here, all right? So let's do that next. So let's go to the movie details. Let's go to the uh, movie details. Uh, let's see, um, react here. Uh, and in the movie details, let's add a little heart here, or maybe a button that we can uh, like that movie. So let's see, we have all, right under the, uh, the movie title, we'll put a little button, and in the button we'll say like. Okay? Um, and, uh, and what we'll do here is that we're going to, um, uh, we're going to handle the, uh, the query here. We're going to say uh, on click, if we click it, Somewhere we need to send a post. We need to send the entire object of the movie, which includes the title, it includes the poster, the IMDb, everything. We have it here, right? I mean, we're, we're iterating for it, right? And where are we getting it? We're getting it from the server that's being passed down to us, right? Um, so, so here we can, we can say, um, uh, uh, say um, oops, we can say uh, this dot like movie and pass the instance of the movie that was passed down to us, props.movie, right? And remember, every time we need to pass an argument, we need to wrap this inside of a lambda function. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in an infinite loop. Careful. Uh, so movie, uh, like movie. Uh, what we're going to do here is that we're going to handle it right here. We're going to say um, like movie. And uh, we're going to be pass an argument for the movie. And for now, we're just going to console log movie, just to make sure that we are uh, handling that, right? Uh, let's see. Let's uh, put this on the right-hand side. And um, if we uh, click on this, and it's, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, why are you not rendering? Uh, where are you? Let's uh, put this in the bottom. Oh, there it is. So we click on Rob, uh, Batman and Robin, and I didn't really like that movie. Uh, Batman Begins. Uh, yeah, so, um, so if I click on this, and notice the like. If I click on like, notice that indeed I have the object. I just need to send it to the server. Right, so let's send this to the server. Yes? Yeah, we, which is already in, in, the, in the database. We only have that Terminator 2, right? But that's because we inserted by hand, right? Uh, it's just going to do an insert into that collection of movies that I like. Oh. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I, I would probably would have called my collection better as a movies that I like or liked movies or something. That would be a, perhaps a better name, and, and probably it would be uh, a, a, a a join between two two collections where I, there's users, multiple users, multiple movies, and there's some 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 in between mapper that says, hey, that user over there likes that movie. Right, so it's actually much more involved, right? Uh, but you know, just uh, just just to give you the an idea of what this could be. All right, so we're going to send this uh, movie over to the server. Uh, so the way we're going to do that is again, we're going to use the fetch, right? Fetch allows you to to always interact with our our, our URL. It's HTTP colon slash slash uh, localhost. I believe it's four thousand. Yes, I think it's going to be API movie. So according to uh, according to uh, RESTful services, right? And uh, when we are reading is get, when we are creating new data is a is post, when we are deleting is a delete, when we are updating is a put, right? So by default, the fetch, right? If you don't say anything, by default, it's always a get, right? Uh, so so, but here we need to reconfigure this and say, uh, well, I don't want you to do a get. Instead, I'm going to use, I want to want you use a different method. Right? I had to specify that instead we want to use a post. Okay. Also, uh, if you remember, the the data would be passed in as part of the body. Right. The body would be would carry the payload right of the JSON object over to the server. Yes. Right. So to do that, uh, we're going to say in the body. Right. I want you to send over the movie. 
right? That 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 there were, 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 were we just standing there, right? Uh, but here the movie is formatted as a JSON object binary representation in the browser's memory. We need to convert that into a string representation, right? So that it can travel uh, across HTTP right, as a string, right? And then it can be parsed again out on the on the server side. So to do that, we're going to JSON dot uh, stringify, stringify converts a JSON object into a string representation, right? Uh, we're good. Next thing is that we need to tell the server, hey server, this string is not just any string, right? It's not, it's not HTML, it's not plain text, okay? Uh, it's, it's actually, you should interpret this string as a formatted JSON string, okay? So to do that, we need to uh, uh, tell that in the headers, we need to say interpret the content as using the following MIME type, application slash JSON. Right, so now the server knows what to do and how, how we should interpret this, right? It says, ooh, it's not just any string. It's a string that is formatted as JSON. Make sense? OK. Um, uh, then uh, what we can, we can des then, um, uh, then just uh, maybe just uh, whatever, whatever the server comes back, as a response, uh, we're going to parse it. Uh, ideally, it would come back with all the like movies, including the one we just inserted, right? Uh, so this is going to do the. It's just going to. Uh, it's going to parse whatever comes back from the server, and we're going to return this. We're going to return whoever called this. We're going to return the res the 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 the, uh, the results of whatever the server responded, right? And you can interpret it however you want it. Uh, everybody okay? All right, let's try and do this. If we go and try to do this, and we click on Batman, and and click on, on this, we clear this. We look at the network. Let's clear the network too. Right. If we click on like, um, notice that uh, it gave us a it gave us an error saying a 404. There is no such API slash movies, but there is, isn't it? We did create it. Actually, no. We created a get API movies. We never created a post API movies. Right? So it's saying, nope, there is no, nobody's listening to a post. Well, let's head over to the server and add that next.